I wanted to open reception. At first it was just kind of like a fun daydream to have at work when you didn't want to work. And it's like, if I could do anything, like this is what I want to do. I set forth with this goal in mind and you're never really sure if it's going to take off. You don't know if people are going to respond to it in the way that you want them to do. My name is Katie Rue and Reception Bar is my business. The goal for Reception Bar was to create a physical space where it really personified the Asian American experience. So it was kind of um, an idea going on for like five years until I finally had the guts to like try it out, I guess. And it was just like one of those realizations like, what am I doing in New York? It's like, if I'm not gonna take advantage of being here and having the energy to survive it and run my own business, it's like, I'm never going to be able to. I think that there's a lot of elements in here that have to do with my history or my specific family heritage and their story about how they grew up here. The name reception has a lot of different layers. One aspect is the one that people think of most, which is like a wedding reception. And it's like, why can't you experience that every night? Just something that has a really warm, inviting glow. Um, another one was about myself being receptive to my own culture and who I am and my own identity. And then the other way, which is the goal of like having other people being receptive to the idea of this no man's land culture that's like actually a real culture and being able to understand that a little bit more. I didn't really have training specifically with mixology or cocktails or food. I grew up with a big family of seven, so I was always the one cooking for everyone for like dinner or making, you know, pack lunches. I worked with my hands a lot growing up, so there's a lot of like fix it things around the bar. I had a little exposure to finance before, so that helped me with my accounting a little bit or just a better understanding of how things run in the background. It's important for our drinks to be reasonably priced because we want all these flavors and these drinks to be accessible. We want people to be able to come every week, multiple times a week, and have these drinks and get to know these flavors. And I feel like that's like the best way of learning. People don't know like the quality of the ingredients that we have. They don't know about the labor behind it, how like each of these soju flavors just, they don't exist in the world. We have to infuse it in house. And like, you're not just opening up a crate and like sticking a speed pour into a bottle that exists. And there's just a lot of like labor and love into each ingredient. <laughs> The process of creating the drinks was really to highlight um, a Korean flavor that I'm really familiar with and grew up with and to really support that flavor and build the drink around that. So for example, the Yuja 88, the whole drink is built around the Yuja honey, which is a really common ingredient in a lot of Korean houses. We like spread it over toast, make it into a tea. <sighs> My favorite drink on the menu, that's like asking for your favorite child. <laughs> They don't have to all be Korean ingredients in the drink, but it, they're all supporting characters for something I want to showcase and like teach people about. And just keeping it accessible so people can come like week after week, night after night, and all of a sudden, they now know the taste of the, these ingredients that they wouldn't know otherwise. We are a part of the community and we are hyper-local. We want it to be a spot where people can come and blow off steam with like a, a well-crafted drink and not have to like bust the bank for it. It's just every New Yorker's right really to like be able to know your local spot that has a good drink that you can come to and have a lot of. I set forth with this goal in mind and you're never really sure if it's going to take off. You don't know if people are going to respond to it in the way that you want them to do. And we've obviously had a lot of tweaks along the way and I think that was another important aspect of the bar is for it to be seen as like a living organism. Like it's always gonna be changing and evolving with us and responding to, you know, the people and like guiding it to the bigger end goal. I don't know, I'm living the dream guys. Like I love it.